Um, <clears throat> something that hit me pretty hard today. And for some of you, maybe like, why is that a concern? Or why is that a big deal? I don't know. <laughs> it's interesting. Um, like, I never thought... Um, Let's just say this. I never thought I'd be a free man ever in this life. I gave up that idea of being a free man in any way, shape, or form. I gave that idea up. <laughs> Growing up, you know, you know, abused, you know, boxed in by your parents, no way out to get away. Yeah, I said goodbye to freedom a long time ago. The only freedom I got was with music in my mind watching Dragon Ball Z in my mind, you know, staying in my mind, basically, is the only freedom I got, even these days as well, but, so it's weird, like, I thought about this today, I gave up on God, freedom, everything, way young, when you're uh, pretty much contained most of your life, boxed in, controlled in every single way, Mentally, physically, you name it. You kind of give up hope. You do. You're so beat. It's like that old man that's beaten down in a jail cell his whole life. Even if he hoped to escape, he can't escape. You get what I mean? That hope eventually dies. And that's what happened to me. <laughs> you know what I mean? So it's interesting <laughs> that... God pulled off getting me away from all that shit. Of course I had to give up, you know, try to take myself out before God stepped in. In my opinion, before God really stepped in at all, I, I was trying to get off the planet. <laughs> Die, basically. That's, a, that's, that's all. I was like, God stepping in now? There's a God? <laughs> like, no bullshit. I'm like, what the hell's going on here? Caught me way off guard. But anyways. So I thought like, you know, being behind enemy lines, basically, is what this video is going to be about. I was behind enemy lines. Even when I wasn't around my family of origin, the world outside my family of origin was like my family of origin. <laughs> you know what I mean? I couldn't escape it. You, you see what I mean? <laughs> you know what I mean? The whole world was like, even some of my friends were like my family of origin. It's like they're all part of this men same mentality. You know what I mean? <laughs> Programmed by the cult <laughs> or whatever. You know what I mean? Programmed by society. And I just gave up. I did. Mentally, I gave up. I'm like, I can't win against all these people. I can't win against all these people. I couldn't. You know what I mean? So I gave up. You know? No joke. I even thought God was like them. <laughs> I did. I thought God was like my family of origin. That's why it's so damn confusing. <laughs> no bullshit. Me separating God from my family of origin and the religion has been so hard, it's not even funny. I put God on their side, not my side. I put him on their side the whole damn time. <laughs> See what I mean? That's why this is interesting. You know what I mean? So I escaped behind enemy lines. I've, I'm away. But I'm like, man, I can never go back to behind enemy lines. I can never go back. And that's hard for my brain to to get. I'm like, what if, what if things fall through? You know? You know what I mean? And I have nowhere to go. I always think about that. I have nowhere to go. I burned my bridge to the enemy lines. You know what I mean? I did. And I'm, I'm putting my faith in a God I didn't even believe in or trust my entire life. Most of my life, I didn't trust God. I don't care if he hears me. It's true. I gave up on God. When I was behind enemy lines growing up, it wasn't like I was saying, Oh, God, I know you can get me out of this situation. I know you're going to be there for me if I get out of this situation. I wasn't saying that at all. None of that was happening. <laughs> you know what I mean? None of that. Like 
I said, I thought God was on their side, the religious people's side, doing, pretending to be God followers, <laughs> active in God's religion. I thought God was on their side. So I was like, it's, hope, it's hopeless for me. Even if I escaped, I don't trust God enough to have my back if I escape. <laughs> Even now, at my age now, <laughs> I don't care if he hears me. I still don't have faith that God will have my back still. I still think he's going to pull up a fast one on me. I'm not joking. I'm not joking. Well, why do you think after all these years, in the back of my mind, I'm like, eventually I'm going to have to take myself out. That's how the lack of trust in God that I have. That I'm planning my death by my own hand already this whole time. <laughs> Let that sink in. My lack of trust from growing up all those years in that situation. Pro probably, only God knows, but I think it's true. <laughs> the most horrific uh, scapegoating on the planet since Jesus, in my opinion. My, my, my upbringing. Anyways, to go from that... And like escape and like, oh yeah, God's going to be there for me to have my back now. From this point forward, are you kidding me? When I didn't think he had my back the whole damn time behind enemy lines. <laughs> no bullshit. <laughs> I trusted psychopaths more than God. Otherwise I would have escaped <laughs> way sooner if I trusted God more than them. <laughs> you see what I mean? I trusted, I didn't trust God more than the psychopaths. I didn't know they were psychopaths. I knew there was something wrong with them. But <laughs> my parents, basically. I trusted my parents more than God. Almost still. And I, I've been no contact for a long time. Which was the right choice. But still, me, me trying to trust God <laughs> on my own now. I'm like bare naked. It's just me and God now. That's what I realized today. I'm like wide open. <laughs> Shit, it is just me and him. No hiding, no nothing. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? I can't even hide from the world either. You know what I mean? <laughs> it's like, man, I can't hide from the world behind enemy lines. You know, it was like it was like they were my bodyguards, you know, and my abusers at the same time. They were protecting me from the world out there. You know what I mean? And you know. Stopping me from doing anything God wanted me to do as well. You know? <laughs> I had a feeling God wanted me to do something. Like, why else was I born to just be abused for nothing? Abused to the ground? <laughs> that's what my purpose was until I end my life. Is that what, That's what I thought my purpose was. That's what it seemed like. Yeah, It wasn't like God was like stopping any of it. He wasn't. <laughs> he was stopping none of it. <laughs> I can still see... The psychopath's eyes in my mind. God wasn't stopping any of it. <laughs> eye to eye with the psychopaths. <laughs> no bullshit. Real shit. <laughs> Real shit. They had me cornered. 100%. They're like, you're our prisoner. Don't you forget it. So now that I'm free from, away from me, behind in me, my brain doesn't get that I'm not behind enemy lines. You get what I mean? My brain doesn't, it's kind of getting it now. It's like, oh yeah, I, I, I really am free. I'm not going to be stopped by psychopaths, basically. I'm not going to be blocked by psychopaths of doing what I want. Get what I mean? I don't have to, I don't have to run things past my jailers. You know what I mean? <laughs> Parent jailers. <laughs> I don't have to run anything past them first. You know what I mean? I'll be like, hey, I'm going to try to do God's purpose. Can I do that now? That's not happening. There's no jailers here. <laughs> My brain doesn't get that totally. You know what I mean? <laughs> Getting permission from my jailers. <laughs> but I know this video may not make sense to a lot of people, but it makes sense to me, and that's what matters. <laughs> so uh, my brain doesn't get that I can't go back to behind enemy lines. For a false sense of safety, basically, from God. <laughs> I can't hide from God behind the enemy lines. You know what I mean? I'm, a, I'm behind enemy lines, God. You can't get me. <laughs> you can't get me. You can't make me do your purpose. 
you can't get man behind enemy lines. They won't let it happen. And God knows that as well. Uh, uh, the psychopaths don't, won't let me do God's purpose. They won't. <laughs> they won't. God knows it as well. <laughs> so I'm like, but part of me is like, <laughs> I don't know. Today was weird. It, it's hard for me to believe that God is dead serious. I mean, dead serious about utilizing me. He's dead serious. It's scary. It's scaring me. It's scaring me. I'm saying it straight up to the camera. And I, maybe he hears me, probably hears me. It's scaring me now. He wants me to make, a man, make me a man of God through and through. Through and through. <laughs> I'm not bullshitting. I'm not even bullshitting. That's what hit me today when I was sitting in the Baptist church. I'm like, God's fucking with me serious about this. He's gonna he's gonna put Jesus throughout my entire body, mind, eventually. He's gonna infiltrate my entire body, mind, every aspect of my life with Jesus and what his will is. He is. Everything. Even Dragon Ball Z might have to go. It might have to go. That's what I realized. I'm like, oh man, not not Dragon Ball Z too. No, no, not that too. God, no. <laughs> you're taking everything away from me. <laughs> you think Jesus likes Dragon Ball Z? Once he infiltrates me totally, he ain't gonna watch Dragon Ball Z. Fuck no. That old soul ain't gonna watch Dragon Ball Z. Fuck that shit. <laughs> He's gonna be like, we're reading scriptures. <laughs> We're reading scriptures all day, every day. That's what's going to happen. Once Jesus takes over, it's going to be scripture reading 24-7. 24-7. Fasting as well. 40 days. You name it. I'm like, God damn it. I've had enough of this religious shit. All right, Jesus? <laughs> he knows I'm, I got burnt out of all that religious stuff. Even fasting, I got... I didn't resonate with any of that. The psychopaths love that shit. That's what's crazy about all of this. The psychopaths love God's traditions. They do. Like fasting, reading scriptures, even though they're pretending. The psychopaths love that shit. Even though it's fake. They're doing it. It's it's a cover to make them seem like a religious person. It's all bullshit. <laughs> and I knew it the whole time. That's why I'm like, I don't care about reading scriptures and all that. It means nothing. I've seen psychopaths read scriptures in front of me. It means nothing. You know what I mean? Walk the walk. Don't read. You know? Anyways, enough about that. Maybe there's some truth to the healing scriptures. I don't know. I'm still trying. <laughs> but anyways, that's what's so crazy about this. God had to put me in the midst, like face-to-face, -face, with religious narcissists without realizing they were religious narcissists. You know what I mean? And I had to, I had to witness their hypocrisy. The the whole time, I had to witness their hypocrisy in my face, and I just had to take it, shut my mouth, and take it. And you know, they're the they're the God followers. They're the they're the active ones in religion. See how this is a mind fuck. <laughs> See how this is a mind fuck. I, I mean, if I was scapegoated by atheists, this would be way different. But since I was scapegoated by religious narcissists, you know what I mean? God followers. Or they're acting like it. You know, they were active as hell. They were active as hell. But they were hypocrites like no other. <laughs> and I knew it. But I had to keep my mouth shut. <laughs> you know what I mean? Code of silence. <laughs> you know, you talk, we, we will take you out, basically. <laughs> and God will back us up. <laughs> they had God on their side, in my opinion, too. Like other channels have said, it's a double whammy. The religious narcissist using God on top of it to control you. God, God and his rules of religion, plus a psychopath pretending to be, be God to control you. That's what I was up against. I know I was up against the worst scenario ever. Ever. To survive, not just survive. Even if I survived, there's no chance I would get a life for myself. I still don't think I'll get a life for myself. That's all damaged I still am. <laughs> but, but anyways, I'm saying a lot, but I'm meaning what I'm saying. 
but yeah, my brain doesn't get, like, I can't go back to behind enemy lines. Like, I don't trust you, God. I'm going back to the enemy lines. I can't do that. And God knows it. I can't do that now. I'm too far out. I insulted the enemy lines. I've insulted them. I know. <laughs> and now I have to trust God that I don't fully trust either. So I'm like, shit. I'm in a weird spot. I am. It's not a joke anymore. <laughs> I'm like, holy shit. I can't go back to behind enemy lines for protection from God. <laughs> I can't. I can't do that anymore. Because they would, they would shut down the purpose 100%. Until there was nothing left of me again. 100%. But what they didn't realize, they were they were fulfilling God's purpose without realizing by take trying to take me down. You know what I mean? Destroy me over my lifetime, <laughs> basically. Little by little, destroying me. They were doing God's purpose somehow, some way. I don't know. I've said before, it was a little too much. It was a little extreme for any human to go through what I went through. I think so. I'm like, you, this was that was fucked up. <laughs> that was beyond fucked up. You know what I mean? I was I was so shocked that Jesus, Jesus, when Jesus jumped in, he's like, "Oh, I'm gonna help you. I can heal you from all this shit." I was like, "Yeah, right. <laughs> yeah, right." <laughs> yeah, and I'm still kind of saying that. You know. What I mean? I am. <laughs> but that's what I realized today. That God's serious about making me a, a legit man of God. Like, no bullshit. After a horrific experience by around men of men of God. I was around men of God. Abused by men of God. Now God's going to try to make me a man of God. Are you fucking kidding me? <laughs> and be like them? Fuck you, man. <laughs> You know what I mean? But he's like, I assure you, Jesus is nothing like them. I assure you. That's what God's telling me. I assure you, God's Jesus is nothing like them. We'll see. We'll see. <laughs> Still early in the game. <laughs> Still early in my opinion. <laughs> to judge if Jesus is like them or not. Still early. <laughs> I'll let you know when in the next few years. <laughs> but anyway. So I'm like, because God knew I was around those hypocrites my whole life. I'm like, God, you want to make me a man of God like them? Are you fucking kidding me? You want to make me a man of God like them? Are you fucking kidding me? Is this a fucking joke? <laughs> you know, the, 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 the type of guys that strangled me, bullied me, Kick me around? You want to make me like them? Are you fucking kidding me? Fuck you, man. <laughs> I know the dark secrets of the religious men. <laughs> I do. You know what I mean? They ain't what they pretend to be in the church building. That's not who they are. I know the truth and God knows it on the battle axe. I can see that shit. I saw that shit my whole life. They're, they're one, they're, they pretend to be one thing around the public. And then when they're behind closed closed doors, they're not that person anymore. <laughs> not at all. <laughs> I'm like, is anybody else seeing this besides the battle axe? <laughs> besides me? I didn't call myself battle axe back then. I call myself the badass back then. <laughs> Don't you forget it. <laughs> Almost the same words. <laughs> but this whole time, I thought I had the upper hand on God. I did. Because I thought God was on their side. I thought God was like them. The whole time. I did. I'm like, I'm a way better person than God. No problem. No no sweat. If he's anything like them, even a little bit, I'm way better. Without even crying, you know what I mean? But now he wants to show me, oh. Uh, he is not what I thought. He is not like them. Kind of. Maybe. But anyways. So basically, for me to survive, I have to depend on God. My effort, my own effort, plus my YouTube channel being successful, all at once. You know what I mean? 
combined effort. I'm that damaged. I need so many things to work out to keep going. You know what I mean? And not be dead or locked up. No bullshit. But I read I read something today, no accident. I always hear this. God will complete the work that he started with somebody. And I never God knows I don't believe that. He knows I don't believe that when it comes to me. That he'll complete the work he started with me. I'm like, I, I thought the whole time, there's way too much damage to, uh, you know what I mean? Everyone would agree as well. There's way much, there's way too much damage for anybody to uh, utilize me. You know what I mean? Even God himself, I'm like, God can't even heal me, utilize me. He can't, not even he could. You know what I mean? I thought I was beyond God's help. Like, no joke. I'm being dead serious to the camera. <laughs> I thought I was beyond God's help, totally. Like, he was inadequate to, to repair me. To heal me to anything. He was inadequate. I'm like, that's how little I thought of God most of my life. I'm like, he can't do shit. <laughs> you know what I mean? He just watched me get abused to the ground. What, what the hell's God gonna do? Watch me some more? Watch me out on the streets as a homeless man. What what can he really do? You know what I mean? That's why I'm always teetering. You know what I mean? Like, should I trust God fully that I don't think can fully repair me? Or should I just take myself out? <laughs> just call it good. <laughs> you know what I mean? I know that's a horrible thing to say. But if you're in my position, you probably would understand me. <laughs> So like at the Baptist church today, I'm still going to the Baptist church. Uh, the, the pastor was like talking about a, a rotten apple that's bruised and scratched and cut. A man can't really, uh, he was like, a man can't really utilize that apple and heal that apple and repair the apple. But God can, you know what I mean? God can uh, repair that bruised and cut apple and utilize that apple that no man could uh, utilize. And maybe that was God talking to me. Because he knows damn well, I know nowhere on this planet can repair me. Nowhere. Nowhere can repair me. Not one professional, nowhere can repair me. God knows I've tried everything. So it's like God God does it or nothing. It is. God's trying to utilize the most damaged person on the planet, myself, in my opinion. He's trying to utilize for his benefit the most damaged uh, human on the earth. He is. God's brave enough to, to, to think he can make a, a, some, something out of me. When nobody else could. Not even my own willpower can make something out of me. That's how damn much damage I've taken. <laughs> no bullshit. I don't even know the gravity of the damage I've taken. It was that much damage to survive. You know what I mean? And I thought about this today. I would look anybody square in the eyes with full honesty. No, this is no joke. <laughs> That I out suffered the Jesus, the Jesus that bled from every pore, nailed to the cross. I out suffered him with full confidence in my eyes. There was a time I could have said that to somebody. You know what I mean? I thought that I out suffered him easily. I did. That's the kind of challenge God has uh, put on himself. To repair somebody and utilize somebody that could that could look anybody square in the eyes and say that he thought he ought to suffer Jesus and be serious. Me be serious, like dead serious, like no hesitation. I thought I out suffered the Jesus. That's how much suffering I took. You know what I mean? You know, at, at one point. So 
God's trying to utilize someone that thought convincingly that he outsuffered the Jesus on the cross. The real Jesus, he thought he outsuffered him. God's trying to utilize somebody like that. You know, he thinks he can repair somebody like that. Utilize somebody like that. That has Jesus issues his whole life. You know, God's brave. Let's just say that. Let's just say that. Part of me, a part of me is, is, was in disbelief. It's like God wants to clean up my whole act. Like the condition I'm in right now, I'm like, I, this is what I've been doing. I'm like, I'll help you out, God. But I don't think you can repair me. I don't think you can deliver on any promises. Nothing. No bullshit. I'm helping God. I'm walking this road like it's over for me. I don't believe God can heal me all the way. I don't. I'm being dead serious. God knows I'm dead serious. I took way too much damage. <laughs> There's no way. <laughs> My opinion. My mind still doesn't function normally <laughs> to this day. You know what I mean? <laughs> God, if you wanted my mind to function normally, you should have protected me growing up. If you wanted me functioning normally. But no. <laughs> yeah. He wants to utilize somebody that's very, barely functioning, in my opinion. <laughs> Trying to utilize somebody that thinks his life is over. This whole time I thought it was over. You know what I mean? Like growing up behind enemy lines, I didn't think that God that was that I thought was supporting my family could could do anything with me. I'm like That's why it's so that's so hard for me to believe that he can, you know what I mean? Because I still remember those years. Like it's nothing. I remember all those years. All those years. I'm like, I gave up on God so long ago. I'm like, yeah, God's on my family side. I, I, I admitted it back then. Like, God's on their side. I sacrificed my life, basically. I'm like, God's on their side. You know, I, I give up. God knows I totally gave up. Even to this day, I'm like pretending to enjoy life <laughs> I haven't really I've, I've kind of been limping on but giving up you know what I mean I've given up but I'm limping on <laughs> you know what I mean I'm like God may God may take me out still <laughs> he may still take me out and show mercy <laughs> you know what I mean <laughs> before I'm Completely broke. <laughs> you know, God may show mercy. <laughs> Anyways. But it's interesting, like, I always feel like I'm behind enemy lines, even when I'm away from behind enemy lines. I still feel like I'm behind enemy lines. That's what this video is about. <laughs> when I escaped behind enemy lines I ran into people that were the same as the enemy you know what I mean that I was behind <laughs> you get what I mean I keep running into the enemy that I was trapped behind you know what I mean <laughs> in the POW camp <laughs> basically the house of pain <laughs> I didn't realize there were more of them outside of it all a lot more So God wants me to do my purpose, damaged, injured from all that, and while being surrounded by the enemy still. God's lost his mind. <laughs> He's lost his mind. 
That's why they, I'm like, it'd be so much simpler if one of them just took me out. <laughs> so much simpler. But no, God won't let them take me out. <laughs> so anyways. So God will complete his work. At, that's what I read today. You know what I mean? For a reason. But I don't know what the hell he's doing. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know if I like this or not. You know what I mean? <laughs> I'm not even fully healed. I'm still in pain. I don't have a wife or kids. Nothing. You know what I mean? I'm like, why am I alive? <laughs> Why did God block my suicide? <laughs> huh? <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> Why am I here? <laughs> you know what I mean? So it's interesting, you know. <laughs> like my family of origin can portray a better <laughs> uh, portrayal for the people of a true God follower. <laughs> That I could ever be, you know what I mean? They could portray it. Oh, you know what I mean? It'll be acting, but. <laughs> I don't know. It's interesting. 